Uh, well, we got a new K&N air filter for the El Camino. I had to kind of custom size it. Actually, this would fit a Fiat, believe it or not. That's what it says, man. But I had to go by the size. And uh, I got the K&N air filter oil and all that stuff in a cleaner. Of course, I dropped it on the ground. Anyway, it should fit in there. It's a 9 inch filter. This one's maybe a quarter inch higher, but that should present no problem. So, a little less restrictive. Because uh, actually, I cleaned out this. This is the second filter I put on here that came with the carb. I bought the carb, and uh, and the thing is, um, I actually cleaned it out with uh, starting fluid and blew it out with air a couple times <laughs> to try to you know keep it going. But could have been a little restrictive. Let me uh, open this plastic up here. Well, that looks like a good fit. <laughs> well, you know it's cool. It's like you could find all these different custom sizes. Because, you know, I'm not using a stock air filter. That's a little bit higher, but I just got enough on there to screw it on. Should. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That'll work. That'll work, man. <laughs> Just fit. Screw it down all the way there. Yeah, yeah that's that's on there. It's threaded on there all the way. <laughs> so it's the only one that'll fit, but it's a good fit. That's good. So you know, I like these because I got one on a Harley too, and um oh it's been on there freaking since nineteen ninety or yeah, nineteen ninety. I might change that one. <laughs> that one's been on there a long time. Even though it's supposed to be that one got flamed once too. Um, this one's a little higher though, see? Yeah, just a little bit. That's good because it's not a very big air filter. Sometimes, uh, typically on these size engine, you might have a 14 inch air filter. But, you know, this is good enough. Because this thing isn't, it's not, it's a 305, you know, I found out. So, it's not that big. And uh, I got some work to do on the other Sebring. And after that, I'm going to go looking at the cams. I don't know if I want to do an intake because uh, I noticed deck was blocked. And, um, you know, the angle of the intake might have had to been shaved a little bit because the deck was blocked. And if I get an aftermarket intake, you know, you got to probably watch that plus the height of the distributor. So I might just leave the same intake in there. But, you know, I'll tell you, this, I think this engine's got the main problem. It's not bad. It doesn't run bad. Once it warms up, man, it's freaking... Actually, i got to finesse that choke when I run it. I'm going to surprise... I bet you when I run it with this thing, it runs better. And um, I got some of those uh, Iridium spark plugs. The Autolite Iridium spark plugs. Not the double platinum, triple platinum. Is or Iridium, man. Those suckers are... Those are pretty good, man. And uh, I think that's what they are. Iridium. Yeah, Iridium. they got a thinner electrode on them. And a real hard electrode. And, uh, you know, they don't wear out fast. And with a thin electrode, they got a good spark. But, you know, I think if I do that with the cam, eh, this, this engine's going to do okay. It's not bad now. But I like that. I like that because uh, this these filters, even though it's like 53 bucks or something like that, or whatever the hell it is, something like that. Yeah, and see, this is not, this is a... This is actually a Fiat oil filter. Uh, get, oh, can't oil filter. A freaking <laughs> air filter. It's for Fiat. That's what, it, that's what. That's the only one I can get to fit. Just a little higher. Good to go. But you know, I do like that about K and N. You can you can find any size filter you want. You want to get an oval filter, two holes in the filter. You know, like it's got a hole here and a hole there. That's kind of like uh, some of the motorcycles might have that. You might want to have a cone style one uh, when it's oval, when it's square, you know. And also they got um, air filters for like breathers, you know, if you don't have a PVC system, 
PCV system, positive crankcase, and ventilation system. PC I'm a little tired. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you can you can run that too. So anyway, probably we should freaking richen up the idle screws just a hair because it can be throwing a little more air through there. But and we'll see about that. This thing was. I don't think this thing flowed that good of air even from the beginning, man. Even when it was clean. Look how skinny that. Look how close that spaced is, and look how open that is. You know what I mean? Plus, it's a little higher. And like I said, again, I got I got the air filter oil. Most of the time, when these filters get they look dirty, they're still flowing really good. Sometimes the only thing you really got to do is add some oil. You don't need to clean them and add oil all the time. Sometimes you have to add oil. I got the k and filter oil. But when they're, they look like like a dark purple color, almost black, they're still flowing really good and they're still filtering really good. A lot of times people think they need to clean them. They don't, they don't need to clean them. They still flow air really good. That's what I like about these. I got one on a, uh, the Suzuki down here, that thing. I got one on that, and I think it did a good job on that. I probably should get them on all the cars, man. So, you know. And what I like is that, you know, once you buy the air filter, it's on there forever. <coughs> and uh, <coughs> some people seem to make really, really radical claims about, you know, the K&N air filter giving them, you know, three more miles per gallon or something. I don't know if it does that, but... Usually, you know, even if it's a very, very, very small amount, like say it's two or three percent better mileage, I think over a year that's going to actually pay for that filter. You know, it will. It will. So, you know, pay your money now or pay it later. And every year, you know, if you save, I don't know, two percent on your gas, even one percent, I don't know, what would you spend on gas? Forty bucks? A week, say roughly, that's that's two thousand um, dollars a year, right? So, you know, you know, ten percent of that would be two hundred. So maybe twenty. You know, I don't know. Maybe, you know, maybe it was two percent. You'd say you'd be blowing an extra forty bucks a year on gas, maybe. You know, so or maybe more. You know, so eventually it pays for itself. It's a good idea. And I don't know, I'm kind of leaning, I really would kind of like put the intake on there too, just kind of dress it up. And if I ever get a 350 or a 383, I'd have to get an intake anyway. So I don't know, maybe I might do that, I'm not sure. Anyway, over now.